तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल टॉक अबाउट द एमेजॉन इको सिस्टम एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट नंबर ऑफ अदर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स सच एज द नेटवर्क इफेक्ट एंड कंपेरिजन ऑफ एमेजॉन क्लाउड विद अदर क्लाउड प्रोवाइडर्स तो लेट्स गो इन टू मोर डिटेल्स तो देर आर एमेजॉन पार्टनर्स एंड थर्ड पार्टीज विच प्रोवाइड होस्ट ऑफ अदर सर्विसेज विच आर बिल्ट ऑन द एमेजॉन क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म तो आई विल शेयर विद यू एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस इज अ लॉन्ग लिस्ट तो यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर दैट दिस इज अ लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ द ऑफरिंग्स बाय पार्टनर्स एंड थर्ड पार्टीज ऑफ एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज तो एप्लीकेशन आर देर विच आर कैपिटलाइजिंग विच आर बिल्ट ऑन द एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज the reason being that amazon web services itself offers host of services okay uh, which are more than 25 all right so you can see over there so computing services provided by amazon quite a few services all right and the what are these services for example amazon currently provides 25 services launching more all the time provides a large range of cloud computing services okay you can see them over there okay these services tend to offer a functionality that enables you to build applications of a type that amazon web services don't doesn't strictly offer for example amazon web services offer some billing capability to enable users to build applications and charge people to use them but amazon web services doesn't support many billing use cases many companies and even individuals offer services complementary to amazon web services okay and allow users to build richer applications more quickly complete applications offered by third parties that run on amazon web services you can use these services often for example saas over a network without having to install them on your hardware all right many many companies host their applications on amazon web services drawn to it for the same reasons that end users are drawn to it low cost low cost easy to use and high scalability high scalability which is the horizontal scalability okay so that is why they are attracted to the amazon web services the network effects what is the network effect the network effect is that as people connect they add value to it right for example if uh, two people connect okay there is a single link but if four people connect there are six links and the number grows so if there is one telephone in a in a town that is not very useful the more people have a telephone in the town the more people to call and the more people to join that network join the telephone network okay so that is the example of telephone network so when more people come to the amazon web services use those services those the the economics of the scale come in and the cost of those web services goes down for the subscribers although the signals are moving at the speed of light but the signals have to be shunted across the internet and of course there is a time which takes for the signal to move from a point to point so that is the latency right and that latency is visible when there is the distance of 50 miles versus 7000 miles that latency will be there so the benefit of this amazon web services with respect to the network effect is that those services are grouped at the same place central place for all the services so when the central place for all the services and the users are coming to that central place then all the connectivity and the signal passage passing takes place at that central place that results in quick response low latency fast applications i think you get the picture so uh, of course the benefit is the cost cost friendliness okay no upfront license fee also unlike the the private cloud where the user has to engage in a contract which takes time and make a commitment that is not the case for the amazon web services ecosystem there is no upfront billing you pay as you use support is available and the performance improves because of low latency as i explained before central place applications are there 
services are there and users are coming there the messages are passing at the central place low latency high performance so focus on it operation concerns rather than developing those concerns this is unlike the private cloud where you go into lengthy negotiations that is not the case for the amazon ecosystem right you just uh, need an email address and a credit card to start using the amazon web services services reflects functionality mirroring physical server operation that assures data assurity that assures reliability of the data itself right and multi year commitment with spec with specific is do this don't do this this is for this this is for this for this much time that is not the case for the amazon web services ecosystem you pay as you go you you use what you need to use and you pay for it and of course amazon equipment means higher prices than amazon web services the private cloud uses enterprise hardware branded hardware that hardware costs money that is much more expensive as compared to the commodity hardware now as i have already discussed with you explained to you that the amazon infrastructure is based upon commodity hardware that commodity hardware not only provides horizontal scaling but is also low cost right and of course even if there is the branded hardware the amazon people are cutthroat negotiators so they are also using and purchase it at low cost and the saving is passed to the user which is the public cloud user that's all i have for this module thank you very much